Yeah, that's good. Alright, <clears throat> Jazz Master update. Hey everyone, welcome back to Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason. And on this one, we're doing something, we always say we're always doing something a little different, but we are this time. We're doing a follow-up video, which I think is our first follow-up ever, I think. So anyways, the American Vintage 2 Jazz Master, we've had this since uh, October-ish. Sweetwater sent it out to us and we did a two-parter I know what you're saying, where's the part two? Well, Mike Adams did the part two. And uh, yeah. And now for all of the bad stuff, I have to be honest, I was initially really excited for this guitar despite its very high price. And I'm sorry to say that my excitement for this guitar dwindled the moment I opened the case. It's been just steadily going downhill like Tesla stock. I'm gonna be breaking ranks with working class who were very effusive in praise in their own review, and that's okay. Starting off the complaint portion of this review, at this point, most of you who are familiar with my work and this channel will know that I try to approach a guitar hoping to like it. The knobs are still oriented with five and six and seven staring up at the player instead of 10. Would you believe that many, many of these jazz masters ship from the factory with the wrong arm? When I have a complaint about the guitar, if it's preference based, I'll let you know that. The stuff that I'm seeing on this guitar has nothing to do with preference. Needless to say, this guitar wasn't in the best condition when uh, we got it. But, you know, that aside, we sent it out to Mike, he did his thing and did his review, and then we got it back. And um, I guess this is what happens when, you know, when one of your best friends is Mike Adams and uh, he will not leave a jazz master unturned. So he did a couple of improvements to make this thing play a lot better. The main stuff that he did was securing the grounds to the volume pots, crowning the frets, buffing the frets and fretboard to remove marks and general roughness. He did a full setup with the stage rim and he adjusted the pickup height. Also, we changed these out for the J-Mascus pickups. So yeah, how does this compare? Well, let me uh, play some sounds for you.
right, and of course, just to... And that's it. Unless I need to do one more. No, good. Talk about an improvement. Compared to the original setup, holy shit. Mike, when I talked to him, he was just like, yeah, I tried to get it to, you know, how you play your style. So I tried to guess your action and, and things like that. And he nailed it. He nailed it. Mike is easily the best tech in the game. Again, I'm biased, but I don't care. So, you know, he's my friend. Overall, I think this is how the American Vintage 2s should have shipped. I know some people had issues with the right trim not fitting and everything else. Ours, the setup was just abysmal, but with his help, this thing is awesome. I can't say anything else about it that I haven't said. I'm gonna give this, <laughs> this follow-up, this adjustment that Mike made the Pusheen seal of approval. Like Mike is awesome, so, yeah, thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you to Sweetwater for sending this out to us and uh, letting us do this. I've been playing this damn near in every video and you'll probably see it on my band's shit too. So yeah, if you haven't, give us a like, subscribe, comment. We're coming up close to 10K if we haven't already hit it. Make sure you hit up our Patreon merch. If you like this guitar and you need anything, just use our affiliate link. It uh, helps us get paid and uh, yeah. With that said, thanks again and tune in later. and you're gonna have fun uh, cutting Mike's reviewing in this. I actually have to watch it. No.